Welcome to Cartoon Alley on Turner Classic Movies. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. For the next 30 minutes, we're going to be looking exclusively at classic cartoons, animated shorts that originally ran in movie theaters prior to many of the films we show here on TCM. In the spotlight today, he's short, he's bald, he's ornery, he's Mickey Rooney. Now, it's Popeye. And we've got three animated shorts from the 1930s and 40s starring the spinach-loving sailor. Popeye first appeared back in 1929 in a comic strip called Thimble Theater. That strip was originally about the family of Popeye's best girl, Olive Oil. At first, Popeye was just a walk-on character, a guest star in the strip. But before you could say, I am what I am, he was the star. And just four years later, Popeye went Hollywood and jumped to the big screen. By 1935, Fleischer Studios had made enough Popeye cartoons to do a short consisting solely of highlights from previous cartoons. And that's what we've got for you up first on Cartoon Alley today. Clips from four Popeye cartoons, all strung together by a live action storyline about a little kid getting picked on by a bully. Though, when you see how the little kid is dressed, you may actually side with the bully. From 1935, directed by Dave Fleischer in classic black and white, here is Adventures of Popeye. Like that adorable yet unfortunately dressed child we just saw, Popeye is the perennial underdog who takes it and takes it until he can take it no more. Then out comes that can of spinach. Popeye the Sailor was definitely profitable to Fleischer Studios, but he was a real gold mine to the American spinach industry. This is true. It's reported the lovable sailor was the force behind a 33% spike in U.S. spinach consumption during the 1930s, virtually saving the spinach industry. Spinach was apparently the steroids of the Depression era. Ball players everywhere were juicing up on it. Up next, Popeye and Bluto do what they do best, fight over olive oil. Who's going to get the girl? I don't know. Could go either way. From 1944 in Technicolor, directed by Izzy Sparber, here is the Anvil Chorus Girl. With all the fighting that went on over olive oil, you've got to wonder whether she was really worth it. Certainly, olive oil was an unlikely sex symbol, even for a cartoon character. She was certainly no Daphne from Scooby-Doo. She was barely even Scooby himself. According to the animators, her mannerisms were actually borrowed from actress Zazu Pitts. But up next in our third Popeye cartoon, the guys continue to fight over her. Men. This time, the setting is an amusement park. 1947, directed by Izzy Sparber in Cinecolor, it's Abusement Park. In 1980, Popeye was turned into a live action musical directed by Robert Altman. In an inspired bit of casting, Robin Williams played Popeye and Shelley Duvall played Olive Oil. The movie was panned by critics and largely ignored by audiences. But Robin Williams really made a pretty good Popeye. In 2004, Popeye celebrated his 75th birthday, and he remains one of the most recognized cartoon icons ever, and a continuing reminder to kids everywhere to eat their spinach. That's it for this edition of TCM's Cartoon Alley. If you like cartoons, keep an eye out for future shows as we take a break in our day to turn the spotlight from classic movies to classic cartoons.